sing it out. Be lifted at the top of your lungs. Be lifted high in all love. Be lifted high. You're the name above all names. You are worthy of all praise. And my heart will sing how great. Sisters, I invite you to join me in praying in this world. Hallelujah. God, we just lift up to you, Lord. All acts of terrorism to be disrupted and defeated, oh God. Lord, you are a mighty God. And Lord, if you are allowing this, Lord, we pray for the people that are affected by it, oh God, those families who are hurting, who are hungry, who are needy, Lord God, that you would use this time, Lord, to draw all men to look up to you, Lord God, humbling themselves. Lord, would you comfort those people, Lord God. Lord, we lift up to you our government, Lord God, hallelujah. That you would allow this rising inflation and the cost of living to just be put to halt, oh Lord. God, that greed will no longer prevail in our economy, Lord God. May, may a spirit of generosity once again thrive in our land, Lord. Hallelujah. And Lord, we pray for, for all the nations who are in fear and in, 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 in hopelessness, oh Lord God. We pray, Lord, that you would send your people, Lord God. And let hope arise in these nations, Lord God, even our own, Lord. That the fear of God would once again be the only fear upheld in, in the nations. Hallelujah. God, hallelujah. Lord, for the spirit of lies and deception over our nations to be removed, Lord God. That any, any, any of these footholds, Lord God, that is not yours, any strongholds, Lord God, of the enemy would be toppled and broken down. And once again, truth will prevail. The truth that will set your people free. Hallelujah. But we pray for the churches all over. God, that your anointing would fall, Lord God, on your people once again. Hallelujah. The, the word that is being preached would be in line with your, with your word, oh God. And it will be confirmed with signs and wonders, Lord, believing that you, Jesus, are the same yesterday today and forever you do not change lord god who you are before is who you are now so would you now oh god awaken our churches lord god not only in the san fernando valley lord 
not only in California, oh God, this nation, Lord God. Awaken your people, Lord. God, we pray for this revival, Lord God, that the outburst of your presence once again will just flow in Jesus' mighty name. That your giftings, Lord God, hallelujah, in your people, Lord, will be put to use, Lord God. Lord, we pray for those prophets, Lord God, the evangelists, Lord, the teachers and the pastors, Lord, the apostolic ministry, Lord, those called, hallelujah, to once again embrace their call, Lord God, not cowering in fear, Lord, but in boldness, step up in faith. Lord, we lift up to you our church, oh God. Lord, we just want to thank you for the work that you have done and are doing in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the families that you are restoring, for the relationships that you are healing, for the prodigals that you are bringing home. God, thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness and your goodness, Lord God, in our church family. God, we pray for more, Lord God. Hallelujah. You, your word says, ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth, your possession. This is what we're asking of you, oh great almighty God. Lord, we want our hunger for more of you, Lord, to just increase, Lord God. For boldness, Lord, in Jesus' name to live out our faith wherever you have planted each one of us so that those who don't know you Lord God would find you in us in Jesus mighty name and if you agree with me say amen Trust 
just a little more grace, though, to trust Him more. Jesus, then silver or gold, I'd rather be old and have riches untold. I would rather have you, Jesus, than houses or lands. I'd rather be led. His nails cut him. Learn to be a king of the vast domain. Oh, be held in sin's dreads away. I would rather. Jesus, the name this whole world affords today. Hallelujah. Rain or shine, we're here, huh? Hallelujah. We're here to worship our God. Praise God. Sick or not sick, we're here. Serving our Jesus. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just pray first. Lord, we thank you, Father, for that wonderful praise and worship, for your wonderful presence. I pray, Lord God, that um, only your spirit will dwell in this place, Lord. Hallelujah. Not the spirit of the enemy. We are rebuking it in Jesus' name. Pray, uh, as you have said in your word, for those who are thirsty, come to me, and I will give you streams of living water. Now our thirst for you will continue to increase, Lord. Feed us today. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we are in part three of our daily faith campaign, The Key to Miracles. This week, I want us to look at daring to commit. Daring to commit. Some people, when they hear the word commit or commitment, they're like, no, thank you, not for me. I have a lot of things to do. I have 100 uh, things to do in like two hours. So commit, commitment, commitment to serve, commitment to church. I don't know. I can go Sunday service, but I don't know with the others. You see, your life is actually commit, uh, shaped by commitments. Whether in the world, whether in, a ch in church, your life is shaped by your commitments. We become whatever we, committed, we are committed to. And if you don't commit yourself to anything, you become nothing in life. Ordinary people become great men or great women of God when they commit themselves to something.